Hey guys, welcome to Wrestling Days and welcome to an excited Wrestling Days um, because we are going to take a look at some brand new figures. It is Ringside Fest over in America. Uh, I don't think there is actually a convention or a meetup. So instead, they are just showing new figures online. So we had our first chunk of brand new figures uh, to take a look at. And one figure in particular, I cannot wait to get to it. I am freaking out over it. I am so excited. It's been a while since I felt this level of excitement for a brand new figure. Uh, because there's been loads of amazing stuff that's been shown. But uh, this one really, really has got me pumped up. So uh, we are going to get to it. Don't worry about that. We're going to blast through these uh, ones first. These are basics. They're WrestleMania 38. Uh, they should be out relatively soon. You can see the packaging. So for those of you that haven't seen the WrestleMania logo for next year, that is the WrestleMania logo for next year. Uh, there's four figures in this series. And uh, you can see Sheamus. Pretty basic Sheamus, to be honest. Not really anything there to get too excited about. The only thing I would say is that if you don't have a Sheamus, I think this is a perfectly fine Sheamus to uh, add to your collection. So uh, you can see the back of the figure there is the uh, face, the face of Sheamus. So uh, yeah, I think that's fine. Uh, next up, there is a Seth Rollins. You can see uh, Seth Rollins here. Um, quite nice attire. I, I think that was what he wore last year but I would have to double check it um but uh yeah this is again fine not the best Seth Rollins ever um you know if you was going to get a Seth I would I would definitely recommend you get an elite but you might specifically want this attire so if you specifically want this attire I think this is the only figure that I've seen with it at the moment so um the face on this to me just looks a bit sad I mean, he does look quite sad at the moment. So if you want to add a sad Seth Rollins to your collection, look, he does. He looks glum. I don't know. I don't know why he's so sad. But uh, if you do want to add a sad Seth Rollins to your collection, then uh, this is not a bad one. Uh, as well as that, we've got the EST of WWE. Looks like she's in a referee shirt, doesn't it? Uh, like a, a, a quite of a, a jazzed up referee shirt. So, uh, yeah, this I don't know when this is from either, to be honest, because she definitely didn't wear this last year in that uh, historic match against Sasha Banks. So uh, it must be like what she wore during the build or something. Uh, but uh, there we've got uh, Bianca Belair, uh, obviously with her uh, hair. I mean, she looks so great in figure form. So, so great with, uh, with the long hair. And uh, she always has such interesting ring attire. Uh, there you can see the EST and uh, obviously you've got like all the lips and uh, the lips that she's got tattooed uh, on her back there there as well. So there's quite a bit of detail here and I think that face looks really, really good. I think that's actually quite accurate um, and I like the EST that's in the hair. So uh, yeah, not bad. And then the final one, apparently based on WrestleMania 2 is uh, Hulk Hogan. Obviously, we're getting a lot of Hulk Hogan's now. So uh, we've got Hulk Hogan. Uh, and as we said, this based on WrestleMania 2. Uh, looks really cool. I mean, it's proper retro, old school, Hulkamania, early WrestleMania. Uh, you got the rips on the back as well. Uh, Bill McKenna was saying that this is an old torso uh, that they used originally. Um, it's only really ever gets used for uh, Hulk Hogan, so uh, uh, that's come back into the line. And uh, old style articulation on this basic as well, so um, some nice little details here. But yeah, um, uh, I'm always, always excited to see uh, uh, Hogan's coming into the line. So uh, the old style articulation, I think, will definitely have people... Uh, excited by that. Uh, moving on, we've got uh, Basic Series 129. This is nice, isn't it? Look at this. This is a Roman Reigns that just does not give a flip. Uh, look at that. Smash them, stack them, pin them. So uh, we've got Roman in like casual attire. This is like a Roman that might go out with his kids to go bowling or something. 
But uh, there we go. Like, you've got the great uh, tattoo detail on the arm. Love the face scan on this. Uh, and actually, they've got a chase version. So there is the chase version. Uh, that one, I think, looks really, really cool. I think they both look cool. But um, this is such a different Roman. If you've been collecting figures for a while, you'll know that we were just getting those ones with the tactical vest. And we just get, kept getting them, like, year after year after year. To have a Roman, like, looking like this, it is so different. It's really cool. I, I really genuinely do like that Roman. Both of them, but I'd probably go for the one with the white shirt. Kind of really stands out a little bit more. Uh, also in series 129 is Dominic. Quite a bit of detail uh, on this as well. Um, I mean, I remember when they weren't going to this level of detail for basics. So I know it might not sound like the most exciting thing in the world. Here's a basic Dominic. But look at the look at the tattoo detail. Look at the work that's gone into this figure. Um, that is a lot of detail. So as I said, I remember when we weren't quite getting that level of detail. Um, face scan on it, I think, looks really good. I think that as a figure, honestly, I, I don't think you necessarily need uh, to get another Dominic. That'll pretty much do whatever you need it to do. Uh, the other thing as well is apparently this has got a new torso. So the uh, uh, the jacket obviously is molded. Uh, it's not just painted on. You've got obviously the top part where the hood kind of around the back. And uh, that's a whole new uh, torso. So that's interesting. Uh, as well as that, we've got a... J Styles. This is coming into um, series 130. Now, there's a lot of excitement around this because uh, obviously the AJ is very cool. But if you're going to have an AJ at the moment, uh, you're going to need to have his tag partner. And here he is. The Amos, the giant Amos, comes into the line. Series 130. And um, there's a lot of excitement around this. A lot of excitement because uh, Bill McKenna was saying that this could actually, by the time it's all done and dusted, hits the shelves, could actually be the biggest figure ever. This could be the biggest figure ever. Currently, the biggest figure is the Great Carly. And uh, they're saying that this is either going to equal it or just beat it. So uh, how amazing is that? That we are on the verge of getting the biggest figure ever. So uh, there we go. That coming into the line. Uh, another one. This is uh, Elite. Not Elite. Sorry. Basic uh, 131. Uh, this is another one that's got a brand new body sculpt. So uh, look at this. There was a lot of excitement when this was revealed uh, that uh, we're getting a, a different body that they can do loads of good stuff with. Like this is like a hoodie body. And uh, they were saying like there's loads of Randy Orton's that look the same. Uh, they really wanted to bring something in the line that was different. He does wear hoodies down to the ring when he's doing promos or making his entrance walk. And uh, this would be a really, really good one to uh, put into your series. There's a lot of people that have been waiting for this. And uh, fair play to Mattel. I mean, many congratulations to Mattel uh, to uh, get this uh, done and dusted. So, yeah, a lot of excitement around that. I must, I must admit... Um, we are about to move on to, like, elites, and we still haven't seen that figure I'm really, really excited for. But um, the basics, I think, have been quite impressive here. Normally, I'm a bit critical of the basics, but I actually think the basics in these reveals have been very, very impressive. Next up, then, we've got Elite 92, a Rey Mysterio coming into the line. Really nice. Uh, ring attire this one and I love that uh, accessory that entrance gear I think the design on it I, I've always loved that shirt I always thought that shirt looked incredible so seeing it like on entrance attire uh, just looks really really cool uh, he's got his more modern style mask as well uh, with like the mohawk on the top and uh, obviously the uh, elite articulation. So uh, loads to love about that uh, Ray Mysterio. Uh, we've got Scarlet. 
Uh, so Elite 92 Scarlet. And um, man, so much about this. So, so impressive. Um, I, I really like the boots. I think the boots look really cool. I'm trying to think if they've ever done those boots with anyone else. And I can't think that they have. Um, obviously, the spikes. Bill McKean was saying that they have passed uh, the tests to make sure they're safe. Because obviously, you don't want kids poking their eyes out. So, uh, the spikes on the shoulder. The headwear. There's even little claws on the gloves. The level of detail here. It might not jump out at first. But uh, it is very, very impressive. And you get uh, that uh, timepiece that does actually uh, swivel. So the timepiece actually uh, turns over as well. And a lot of people have been waiting for that. That's going to look awesome, uh, this figure, along with uh, like an elite carrying cross. We're still going. Uh, Elite 92, we've got Charlotte Flair. So if you do have some Becky Lynch figures that are getting a little bit out of control, um, and uh, then you could bring this into your collection, uh, and they could have uh, a wonderful argument backstage. You could recreate your own backstage argument uh, with this Charlotte Flair. Um, obviously, we haven't seen the accessories that come with this yet. There will be more. This is just a prototype image, but it just gives you an idea of what's on the way. And honestly, I think that's stunning. I think that's absolutely incredible. The face on it, the hair, um, the ring attire looks nice. If she's going to have like a killer robe, that figure is going to look insane. We're still moving on, though, and we are getting to the good stuff. We are getting to some stuff that I am really excited about. Look at, oh, my God, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. It's it's incredible. Look at that. I don't know what is going on. I don't know with this uh, ring guitar. It is stunning. Like, look at the boots. Even on, like, the tips of the boots, uh, it's got a little bit of, like, logo stuff. I love those boots. I have always loved those boots. They look great. But look at that dragon on the tights. It looks brilliant. Face scan looks brilliant. And not only that, the WCW Television Championship. Uh, and you get uh, two as well. So uh, you can get that one. Or in the same series, uh, you can also get... Uh, this one, this is the chase version. Uh, Bill was saying that this is uh, from uh, an event in 1994 that he went to, one of his uh, favourite shows. I mean, that looks incredible as well. I genuinely don't know what is happening, right, with the ribs. That sticks, that does jump out to me. There's something with the ribs and I can't quite figure out what's going on there. Um, like, just in the middle, just by the biceps, Looks like, I don't know what they are. So, uh, again, these are just prototype images. So, uh, there's every chance that they uh, they won't look like that when it actually comes out. Uh, and they'll get smoothed out or whatever. But, yeah, a bit of a, bit of a weird one, that. I, I couldn't quite work out what was going on there. Uh, but that is the Ricky the Dragon Elite 93. Uh, we've also got a T-bar that's uh, coming out. And uh, there you get a swappable head. So there is T-Bar in a mask. And then uh, you can also get T-Bar um, out of the mask. So uh, they were saying, like, if you want him in Retribution, if you want, want him, what he looks like now, out of Retribution, you can kind of swap the heads and, and have both, really. So um, I'm sure there'll be some other little bits that come with that. So there is uh, T-Bar. This is nice. Look at that. There is Mace. Apparently, the mask does come off. You don't need the swappable head here. Um, you can just take the mask off. Uh, and this has got entrance gear. Really cool. Love the hair. Love the hair on this. Nice looking uh, boots as well. The straps on the boots look great. Detail on the ring attire. Loads of tattoo detail. Uh, it's the hair that makes that figure for me, though. But, uh, yeah, that is, uh, that is really, really cool. Here we go. This is the one. This is the one, right? This might not do it for everyone. Like, you might you might not feel the same way about this that I do. But I, I, I just can't even. I can't even. I am so excited for this figure. I am so excited. I can't remember the last time I was this excited for a figure. And I know that might sound weird. 
because it's just a Hulk Hogan and how many Hulk Hogans have we had and you know why why are you so excited let me tell you why I'm so excited right I'm gonna tell you right now why I am so excited this is Hulk Hogan I believe from Wrestlemania 1 so very very important very iconic this is Wrestlemania 1 and uh, you get the swappable heads Right, and you get some swappable hands, and he looks really cool. And I love the detail. I love the articulation. This is uh, one of the most articulated Hulk Hogan's that we've ever had. Apparently, it is going to come with soft, soft goods as well. So he won't come. Will come with a T-shirt. I, I can't even get my words out. I am so excited. Right, look at that belt. Look at the belt. That is a Hogan eighty-five. Right. The Hogan 85 belt, right? That is the oldest WWF championship, WWE championship we will ever have had in the line. The Hogan 86 that came with the Hulk Hogan defining moments figure. That is the oldest WWE championship Mattel ever made, right? That has now been beaten. This is the Hogan 85, a belt I never expected them to make, a belt I never thought they would get round to making, and uh, here it is. This belt has never, let me underline this many, many times, it has never been in the Mattel lineup before. You could never get that belt before. That belt, I need that belt. I need this figure, right? There's not many times that I say I need things, but I need that belt. That is what the WWE Championship looked like in 1985. And as we said, we have never gone that far back. I'm still hoping that we will go back further. I'd love to get the ones from like the 70s and the 60s. But uh, I, I have no idea if we are going to... Uh, if we are going to go back that far, but I am so, so excited uh, for that championship. And of course, if you are going to have a WrestleMania 1 Hulk Hogan, you might as well get a WrestleMania 1 Mr. T. And uh, here is an Ultimate Edition Mr. T. Obviously, the main event was Mr. T and Hulk Hogan um, in a uh, tag match in the main event of WrestleMania 1. And uh, all the way in the build up to WrestleMania 1, we would see them working out. Uh, putting in the work, getting ready for that big main event. And uh, you can see he comes with his chains. He's got a Hulkamania uh, hat. Uh, he's got uh, his flex bar as well that he always had. So uh, that is brilliant. Both of them together, absolutely brilliant. Uh, in fact, I think it was both of them together on the poster of WrestleMania 1. I'm pretty sure the poster of WrestleMania 1 is literally Hogan and Mr. T standing next to each other. Um, inside of a wrestling ring. Uh, that was the poster for WrestleMania 1, so you could even recreate that uh, using uh, these two figures. Uh, then uh, we get on to, uh, well, a couple of really nice, I think these are the final items, uh, a couple of really nice uh, reveals. We've got this Undertaker with the WCW World Tag Team Championship, and I know what you're thinking, Undertaker was never in WCW. But um, obviously, there was the invasion. WCW came into WWE in 2001. And this is based on SummerSlam. Um, so this was when the WWE Tag Team Champs took on the WCW Tag Team Champs at SummerSlam. And uh, it was Undertaker and Kane that were victorious. And uh, this is why we've got the WCW Tag Team Championship with Undertaker. The great thing here, this is a Ringside Collectibles exclusive that will come out next year, I believe. But uh, you can actually pull the straps down on The Undertaker's uh, top. So, um, to my knowledge, you've never been able to do that before. It's always been painted. It's not painted on this figure. You can actually take the straps down. Like, um, there's so many figures that they should be able to do that for. I'm thinking, like, Big Show. Uh, you know, like pulling down the straps was always kind of a, uh, oh, I mean business now kind of a move. And um, yeah, you can do it with this Undertaker. How cool is that? And uh, it does reveal his BSK uh, tattoo that he's got across his stomach. 
so uh, it's really cool. That is really, really cool. I'm really excited for that, for the uh, uh, WCW Tag Team Championship. In fact, talking of the BSK, there it is, look. There you can see the straps being pulled down and uh, the BSK uh, tattoo being shown. So uh, that's cool that they included that picture. So there we go with the straps down. And then we've got this uh, Tommaso Chomper from War Games. Uh, and this is really cool. Bill McKenna was freaking out over this. He was freaking out over that entrance jacket and the level of detail, which in all fairness is stunning. The way they've been able to print onto that entrance jacket, uh, it does look really, really cool. So um, here you can look at that. I mean, that jacket looks amazing. And uh, I love the mask there on that Tommaso. Uh, looking really, really sharp. Really, really cool. Look at that. You can just see his eyes coming through that mask. And I'm sure that mask will work on other figures as well. If you uh, wanted to put it on other figures. And you get a really good look at um, that jacket and how it's uh, been printed. Um, and there is the Tomas. He means business, man. He means business. So, uh, yeah, this is stunning for uh, a ringside uh, collectibles exclusive. Uh, and that is it. All of these images uh, are on Ringside Collectibles right now. Uh, so you, uh, if you do want to go and uh, go back and have a look at them, you can uh, you can do that. Uh, but for me, as I said, I am so, so excited for this. The oldest WWE Championship we've ever had. Uh, that is something special. So that's what I'm looking for. Let me know what you're uh, looking forward to. But let me know what you're looking forward to down in the comments below. Really appreciate you uh, joining us for this. Uh, we will take a look at the figure reveals tomorrow, and uh, hopefully I see you again next time. Bye for now.